Esther and this is Fouch Family Off Grid. We have a little carpentry video for you today. We're continuing to experience extreme weather conditions here in our cabin in the woods. We've had school canceled three of the last five days, but Nick is still getting a little bit of work done. In this video, he's going to show you how he installed the glass into his handmade doors, set up right on our kitchen table with, as usual, little Sadie as his sidekick. Here's Nick and enjoy. So we did a, a video all about constructing the door uh, up to this point from the rough slabs all the way to what you see here. This has now had a couple of uh, coats of uh, oil. It's mostly tongue oil. It's a tongue oil blend. I'm putting the glass in now. There's probably a bunch of different ways to do it and there's probably people who will say there's only one right way to do it but this is how I've chosen to do it. I left a clear opening and it, I'm doing a, uh, a run of stop or just a piece of trim on both sides of the glass that's attached to the rest of the door. Sometimes um, what I've seen on doors before is that there's actually a, a place uh, milled for the glass uh, so that it's, um, it, it's mounted to the solid pieces of uh, the door framing, but there's almost always a removable side, a side of trim or glass stop that's put in there just with nails so that if there's a problem with the glass, if it breaks or if your seal is bad or something, you can then easily uh, remove uh, one side of the trim, get all of that out and replace or work on the glass. So um, I will still have one permanent side of this glass stop. And this is the, the shape that I came up with that'll look nice, uh, give lots of bearing surface for the glass, but also gives me a, uh, an opportunity to drive a little tiny nail right in, uh, right in the valley there. And that's what's going to attach it to the door. That goes there. That one goes there. And this goes in this way. And is that, is that a half lap on the back? Yes. So the, the rest of the, the grid, this is, was done beforehand. This is just a little tiny half lap joint and glued up. There's no nail in that or staple. Um, and that's done beforehand because it's really hard to do kind of all at once. So I just have a predetermined uh, distance that I'm setting this proud of the, the rest of the door. I've done all my math and done some measurements and have determined that the head of this row of nails <laughs> is a good spacer. So the gun I'm using, um, this is one that I like quite a lot. It's called a micro pinner. It shoots a very small 23 gauge little tiny pin. So when those go in, you can hardly see them at all. Um, these are a little oversized for what I'm doing here, but uh, they still sink all the way and those are the only length I have. So I want good coverage on the glue, but I'm also staying away from the visible edge.
not green. Yeah, isn't that weird how that glass looks? Green from edge. Doesn't look green going through it. It doesn't look green going through it. It looks like a towel. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, the thing that actually holds the the glass in place is silicone. Um, so I'm just using anything that says 100% silicone. That's what you want. Um, so I'm running a, a thick bead on the inside corner, and that's what uh, seals the outside from the inside. But then also I'll lay a skinny little bead that the glass will actually um, so that the glass can be adhered to that piece of trim that I just permanently installed into the door. So now we're going to let that set uh, at least overnight. The silicone really should have 24 hours before um, you stand up the door. Uh, so we got to let that set and um, then we'll be ready to hang it. So this is the exterior door and uh, for the outside door <coughs> I had an insulated panel made up to my uh, the size that I gave the glass shop. So it's two pieces of glass sandwiched together with a vacuum seal in there. So that will, um, it's insulated so that uh, it slows down heat loss through the glass. And with that, we're one step closer to having our enclosed porch functional where I can store some muddy shoes and some growing plants. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Look here! Well, here, Milo! Milo, Milo, take it! I have a big one! You guys are gonna supply him? You guys are gonna make snowballs for him? Bad headache! Oh.